Tim Bennett here from the Cortland Voice, and I'm here with Dr. Train Tuwin from Cayuga Health. Doctor, how are you today? Doing great. Thank you, Tim. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here again to chat with you and share some information with the folks. Okay. Well, it's uh, it's October, you know, October 23, and it's uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I want to make sure that uh, myself and KU Health want to make sure that all of the greater Cortland County community uh, is aware of breast cancer and things like that. But before we get into that, I want um, our viewers to know, you know, about you. You know, we already said your name. We already know that you're from Cayuga Health, but let's hear more about maybe your educational background, where you're from, um, the the apacas. Did I say that right? <laughs> yes, apacas. Yeah, apacas. You know, we can hear about those. You know, so, so talk to us. Wonderful. Thank you. So I actually was first a biomedical engineer. I uh, was a total nerd, got to work in nanotechnology, tissue engineering, medical device, and DNA technology. Mm-hmm. And it was a great experience, but wanted to make a more directed impact. So went into medicine, really love medicine and particularly love surgery. I uh, love what we can do to really improve lives and essentially with that cure cancer. I am also fellowship trained in breast surgical oncology uh, at a center of excellence. And I was the first fellowship trained breast surgeon in the uh, community here and uh, came here to build a breast program in order to help care for the folks in the community. So I'm very glad to be here and thanks for having me. For sure. Um, So let's dive right in. For those, I mean, I'm sure many have heard of it or may have known people who are survivors from it or maybe even have passed from it. What is breast cancer? So breast cancer can is cancer of the breast, just like we have many different organ systems in which you can have cancer and breast cancer is particularly cancer that originated from the breast uh, most of the time. Okay. Now, this is a very basic question, but it's one that should be said. A lot of times when I've heard it myself, and I'm sure you've heard it too, um, many will say, you know, mainly women get breast cancer. That's why it's pink gloves and things like that, you know, or they might say, you know, uh, they might say, you know, normally women might have breast, guy, men have pectorals or chest. Same thing. Anybody can get it. True. Yes, actually, breast cancer, while it mostly happens in women, can also happen to men. In fact, about 1% of all of breast cancer happens in men. You said 1%? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. So 99% is women. Okay. It's women. Okay. Um, how does someone get diagnosed with it? Like, um, what makes you come up on upon that to say like, hey, this might be what this person has? Like, how do you get diagnosed with that? Yeah, so we have come a very long way in the past few decades in terms of diagnosing and treating breast cancer. Mm-hmm. And essentially what we do know is that early detection saves lives. So most of the time nowadays, people get diagnosed from their screening mammograms exam. So technology has also come a long way in which it helped us detect cancer before it is maybe noticed physically. So a big part of diagnosis is from screening mammograms and you know ultrasound added if you have dense breasts and or MRI added if you're a high risk patient. And we can go into that further if you're interested. But the other aspect is also from diagnosis of something that is noticeable changes in the breast that may be concerning. That said, not every change is concerning, but if there's a change that's different, we usually recommend go see a primary care or go see a breast specialist to get it worked up. So things that we look out for is if you're doing a self-exam to know what your breast is so you know what change, you're looking for any new lumps or bumps or anything like that, nipple discharge, bloody discharge, and things like that. In addition to that, also looking for any changes to the skin, redness, swelling, skin dimpling, nipple retraction. And so there's various uh, things that you look out for as a change from previous 
Uh, so in terms of diagnosis, it's a combination of the standard screening exams, but also uh, diagnostic exams if there's a specific concerns like some of the symptoms that I mentioned. Gotcha. And at Cayuga Health, you have the, you know, obviously you have the staff and the machines and everything, the technology to diagnose that. Yeah, so we have the technology ranging from mammography to ultrasound to MRI and additional technologies to help diagnose that. And I believe we've also really expanded our availability of technology and images into the Cortland areas as well to help the community. No, you you for sure have. Now, let me ask you this. With that diagnosis, if uh, is it is it curable? So early detection saves lives. Early detection will increase your chance of getting to cure and getting good prognosis. Okay. Now, what are the options that someone has if John Doe, Jane Doe is diagnosed with cancer, breast cancer, I should say? Great question. So breast cancer, unfortunately, is very common. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it's one of the most common, if not the, the most common cancer in the world. Um, for women. And so one in eight women have breast cancer. So the lifetime risk of someone getting breast cancer on average is about 10 to 12%. Okay. Now, after, after the diagnosis is given, what would you, or maybe the rest of your Kiyuga Health staff, what would you, um, what, what are the options that you have? Yeah, so I think before we dive into that, something that people may find helpful is that 10 to 12% lifetime risk on average means that you know, 90, 88% is not breast cancer. But we want to make sure that if it is, we catch it early. So what I'm trying to address here is the fear, is that the odds are generally in your favor of not getting breast cancer, but getting that worked up is important because if it's in the event that it is, we want to catch it early, we want to address it early. And as mentioned before, we've come such a long way in the past 20, 30 years and, and more with breast cancer and breast health care. We have many different tools, many different treatments to help people through it. Uh, and so if you get diagnosed with breast cancer, we have a multidisciplinary team that helps take care of you. I'm the fellowship trained breast surgeon, but we also have medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, along with radiologists, pathologists, and navigation team to help the patients through the different aspects of their journey. And I highlight that multidisciplinary approach because not every cancer is the same. And we really focus on treating the person and the patient in front of us. Okay. Now, being that you, that last, that those last couple of words, basically saying that you do it case by case. Um, I'm sure there are some general preventative steps or preventative, yeah, preventative steps that patients can make, whether that's checking, um, their 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 breast or um meeting annually or something like that like what are the steps that they can do with Cayuga Health and what things can they do on their own just to make sure yeah. we drill that in and that it's fully remembered excellent excellent points so we recommend having established care with your primary care providers because not only can they help you with breast cancer screening, but other screenings and other health as well. So mm-hmm. having overall health is an important aspect. Other things include if you're a woman over the age of 40, we recommend at least a yearly screening mammogram. And if you have dense breast, to also add a complementary ultrasound to that. In addition to that, if patients that are high risk, so they may be high risk from having extremely dense breasts or having a very strong family history uh, and or having genetics that says they're high risk, then there's additional things that's recommended to be done. And I would recommend that they follow up with a breast health specialist team um, in order to help facilitate and navigate those things. Uh, Now, what other things that help with overall health, but also decreasing risk of breast cancer is a healthy BMI, low animal fat diet, not smoking, 
less than two and a half drinks a week, more than two and a half hours of exercise a week. Okay. BMI, uh, body mass index, right? Yep. Body mass index. But I think it's just an overall health. Okay. Uh, the two W's, when and where can someone see you? Yeah. So we have, I am part of the Cayuga Health System. For sure. And we have a woman's health office that I work out of. And so interestingly, we actually are in the process of moving from our Lansing office down to the, the Cayuga Park across from Purity. Uh, and we also operate at the hospital as well. Uh, closing statement, you know, like um, what what final statement would you like to give to the greater Cortland community? Uh, you know, letting them know something from Cayuga Health, but mainly from you, doctor. Yeah, going back to the the same idea is that really early detection saves lives. And so I encourage people, if they have questions about their family history, anything that they're concerned about, or, or if they're of, you know, age 40 and older, uh, and of course, if they're high risk, it might be at younger age too to screen and follow along. Um, other things too is that the role of the community and and supporting others along the way, along the journey. Uh, for some people, maybe they're fearful of getting their exam. Maybe you schedule it and go with a friend uh, or something like that. Uh, but the idea is early detections really help change the game. Uh, and so if people have questions uh, or if they have any doubts or fear uh, to to work with their healthcare providers, work with their support group or or call our office and we'll be able to help through that. Beautiful. Well, doctor, I, I, I thank you. And um, I'm sure one more time, everyone, Dr. Train to Win, she's with Cayuga Health. And um, as, as we said earlier, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, don't be aware just in October when you see pink everywhere or you see it during your favorite football game or in a jersey. Don't just check once a year, you know, stay active, meet with your, you know, your um, your primary uh, provider and um, see doctor. And once again, thank you for choosing the Cortland voice. Thank you. God bless. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the opportunity. Anytime. Um.